Bitcoin is clearly breaking out out of this falling wedge that we have been talking about and it is right now consolidating at the 21k price level. Today we're going to be talking about the important resistance zone and the support zone and potential buy opportunity dips and if you like the content please leave a like subscribe and let's jump into the video. So Bitcoin is currently sorry uh, let me pop up this introduction and yeah, let's get into the video. So, Bitcoin broke out of this falling wedge that we have been talking about. And as you can see over here, so sorry for the crazy lines, but yeah, let's go over here on this chart. And yeah, as you can see over here, Bitcoin has been forming this falling wedge since last year. Since the you know, since the middle of the bull market, and as you can see, Bitcoin has been making contacts on this trend line on the lower line and also the on the upper line and as you can see over here clearly bitcoin has broken out out of this trend line and we have been seeing the same pattern in 2019 2018 as you can see over here bitcoin was also creating a falling wedge pattern and when we broke out which was the in january when we broke out in january we were able to see a massive run to the upside and as you can see over here, it's mid-January and it looks like, you know, give it, give or take a couple weeks. But yeah, it looks like it has, you know, played out pretty well. So pretty interesting movement from Bitcoin approximately at the same same time frame. And let's go over here on the daily time frame. And as you can see over here, Bitcoin is currently rejecting this previous high that we have been, you know, that we have been rejecting previously. So if Bitcoin is able to manage to break above this and able to make a weekly make a daily candlestick above this 21k level i will be super bullish in i would be super bullish in the short in the medium short term and also there's one more thing to keep note on which is the 200 daily moving average <coughs> So the green line rep is representing the 200 daily moving average. And as you can see over here, Bitcoin clearly broke out of the 200 daily moving average. Bitcoin was rejecting the 200 daily moving average as resistance. As you can see over here, when we hit the 48K level, however, it looks like it's breaking out instantly at one time. And also, there's one more resistance line we want to be watching, which is the 20 weekly moving average. So let me pull up the pull up the chart and pull up the indicator. And as you can see over here, the green line represents the 21 EMA the, and the red line represents the 20 simple moving average. And as you can see, it broke out of the 20 weekly moving average. However, we must be, you know, we must be cautious over here just because it broke out. This could be a fake out. And let me show you an example like over here. When we were at the 45k level, 40k level, we broke out of the 20 weekly moving average. Like, we made a pretty decent green candlestick on the daily, I mean, on the weekly. We even, we even made a weekly close above the 20 weekly moving average. However, subsequent to the event, I mean, we were able to hold the next week as support, but after that week, as you can see over here, it wasn't able to hold it as support and then we rejected it again and then we started this massive dump to the downside. So Bitcoin is or Bitcoin is also currently making a decent candlestick like we saw in the 40k level. However, what we must be seeing is continuation of holding support of the 20 weekly moving average for multiple weeks. And let me show you what I'm trying to talk about and here. You're able to see an example right over here. So, Bitcoin broke about the 20 weekly moving average and we were trying to hold it as support, but yeah, we weren't able to hold it as support and then we saw a consolidation. However, once we hit the bottom in the COVID crash, we got we got it above we got it above it again, yet again, and then we were you have been consolidating above this level. And when we were able to hold it as support for multiple weeks, this was telling me that okay, we are gaining momentum in the market since we have been falling, you know, falling below support, and not we have been falling below sort of support, and we have not been holding it as support for a while. So we are able to hold it as support for a more than a month for five weeks. So that was telling me that okay. The markets, the sentiments are changing and we must be looking for more up, upwards movement. And I think we're in a similar 
moment at the time. So we must be seeing Bitcoin holding about about the 19.3k level as support for multiple weeks if we want to see continuation. So we could be seeing continuation, you know, since we broke broke above it, we could be seeing continuation. But however, this was, you know, when the Fed was, you know, lowering their interest rates. So that was kind of affecting the pump. But however, we are we have we are currently experiencing high inflation and you know you know the fed is you know tending their you know monetary policy so yeah we i do not believe that we will be seeing a significant pump like you know like a like almost a forex pump i do not believe we will be seeing that however we could be seeing some sort of rally to the 29k area which i'm marking as resistance so my base case is that we will be seeing we could be seeing a pump but you know i do not believe that we will be we will be overgoing the 30k level. If we're lucky enough, we could be seeing 36k, but I do not believe we will be seeing above those prices in 2023. I do believe that 2023 will be a consolidation phase. But however, given that we have been breaking above this resistance line and also this falling wedge, we could be seeing some sort of continuation if Bitcoin is able to hold it as support, hold support at these levels, at 19.3k level. So I'm kind of bullish over here. We could be seeing some sort of continuation and the, you know, the short term targets are going to be the previous highs, 20, 23k approximately, 24.5k, 28.6k and 30k. So that those are the resistance zone you must be watching. Okay, so you just want... So that's one thing to keep note on. And yeah, Bitcoin is making a pretty significant rally to the upside. So pretty, really glad to see this. And if you have missed the dip, so I've been getting comments that people saying that, okay, I missed the dip, what should I do? So, I mean, it's the past, right? You can't, you cannot change anything. So like you must move forward. Obviously you shouldn't be, you know, thinking of your mistakes and should be moving forward. But however, like if you're a investing in the long term you should not have be having that kind of mindset of of trying to trying to getting trying to get the bottom you know it's impossible like that's what i was trying to do when i was just started crypto which was in 2019 but yeah like what i was doing is that i didn't know where the bottom was in i didn't know where the bottom was so i was like okay i'll just i'll just dca to the next bull market because i believed in bitcoin i and i did some i did enough research for me to believe in bitcoin so that was the reason why I was able to hold Bitcoin for I, I was able to, you know, huddle Bitcoin. And also, you're able to see on the charts, you're able to see on the charts that Bitcoin is having a, you know, a pattern that, you know, after the halving, we have been seeing pumps after the halving consecutively. So, that, so you're able to see a pattern in Bitcoin. And so that's why I was like buying, okay, so I'll just, I'll, I, has, I had some revenue at the time. So I was buying like almost every month, like DCing every month. So... I was able to buy Bitcoin between the nine, seven thousand, eight thousand dollar area aver on average, but you know you're able to see that I, I was able to get the brief bottom, and we saw a significant rally, and then you're able to get you know the the approximate top. So you're not able, so you should be if you're a, if you're a newbie in crypto, I, I know that it's hard for you to bear those losses in the short term. But if you're looking in the long term, you shouldn't be caring about getting the exact dot bottom. Even pro traders aren't able to do that. So what we are doing is that we, we DCA through the market. Since we are a long-term investor, we DCA through the markets monthly. You shouldn't be caring about the price. Even 20K is a really good buy, buy price zone in my, op op in my opinion. Like even like below 30K is like a generational buy opportunity in my opinion. So like, even if you missed the bottom, I do still believe that we are still overly undervalued. And I do believe that the upside is, you know, the upside is pretty, you know, sky high in the next bull market. I do believe we will be hitting like 100k maybe. But yeah, in my opinion, these price stones are, are, are a Goldilocks stone. You shouldn't be caring about, you know, these kind of, you know, significant price movements. And you should be, if you're caring about it, you should be DCing a because you're having a different, you're not doing it, you're, you're not doing it right like you're having a you know you know a wrong approach to the these i mean into the crypto huddle strategy so you shouldn't be timing the exact top and exact timing you should you shouldn't be greedy i know in the beginning everybody's greedy like you're trying to get everything but when you're too greedy when we see the bitcoin price going up and when it you know tanks a little bit you won't be able to take profits because you're so greedy and then you'll be holding it till the end like me because i was too greedy i'm learning from my mistakes in the past so never be greedy i mean it's an instinct that people have but like you 
it's I, I know you're going to be people are going to be making the same mistakes despite me telling this because it's hard to tell it's hard to understand by just hearing someone's experience you must be you know ex actually experiencing it you really need to feel the agony you need to feel really anxious in order for you to experience and move forward but i'm just telling you what i experienced i hope this helps i hope you really enjoyed the content guys if you like this video please subscribe and leave a like button please and also if you would like to buy bitcoin i would recommend okx because if you sign up from this link you'll get a five percent commission rebate forever you know and i will also show you the proof over here you see kickback rate five percent forever so make sure you sign up on okx and bitcoin and buy it they have a deposit bonus so make sure you sign up to get free money to buy bitcoin so make sure so yeah make sure you check those out and thank you so much for watching guys please appreciate it see you guys in the next video Bye bye